Hey everybody, welcome to the Dungeon Cast. I'm Brian. And I'm Will. This is the podcast where we talk about everything Dungeons and Dragons, and today we are building a Beholder Lair. Yeah, Hey, Brian. Hey, Will. How are you doing today? I am. Uh, these hands, Will, they're ready to build. Yeah? Good, they're, good. They're ready I'm to excited. create. Yes. I'm very excited. We're, we're doing a, a creative experiment today. Uh, I believe you and uh, Special Guest Jake did something similar. Yes. During my off, uh, my baby time. And um, we're, we believe in paid time off from for fathers <laughs> yes. on the dungeon cast. Gosh dang right we do. <laughs> um, and I thought it was a great idea, and maybe we could get a little more specific with it. And I thought it was year of the beholder, so let's build a beholder later. Yeah. Later. And so I have some rules. We're well. Number one, we're using the random dungeon builder out of the DMG as like a, a basis for this. But there's also some cool Beholder tables in Volo's Guide, which we're also going to utilize. And then we're going to use information from Volo's Guide that are going to be kind of like um, additional rules on how we're going to make this dungeon. So, <coughs> a real, real quick sidebar. If this is your yeah. first episode of the Dungeon Cast, mm-hmm. uh, we th- we thematically approach our, our years mm-hmm. with like a blanket um, topic for lore. Right. And this is the year of the Beholder. It is the end of the year of the Beholder. I think Last Beholder episode of the year. Final episode of the yeah. year. So yeah. thank you guys for the, this has been an incredible journey to behold with all of you. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. this is this is the penultimate. We're gonna we're gonna build a, this thing's house. Indeed, indeed we are. Um, so here are some of the rules for how we're going to build because everything's gonna be random. We're gonna roll for everything. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A uh, couple things. Number one, the dungeon is going to be linear because according to Volo's guide, most Beholder dungeons are linear because they like to make sure that whoever tries to get to them has to go through the fucking gauntlet in the final room. If they finally make it through all that, then they then the Beholder gets. To face the party in their most weakened state. They're inherently paranoid creatures. They don't like being snuck up on from behind. So this makes it actually much easier for us to build this dungeon because we don't have to worry about it going in different directions necessarily. Um, Have fun doing magic in this this long hallway when you see it. So the next rule is that we have to include a couple key beholder layer characteristics. So we have a checklist. And it's going to be up to us when we want to utilize a room or add a room that's going to be this checklist. So we need a central gallery. We need escape tunnels. We need secret passages. We need a prison. And then finally, the last room will be the sanctum or antechamber where the beholder layers. Okay. Uh, lastly, we can override anything the dice say if it doesn't really make thematic sense. Okay. So that's it's totally up to our discretion. Those are the rules. Um, here is the sheet, Brian. You're gonna be in charge of rolling and filling it out. Okay. I'll be can in I charge of the tables. Oh yeah, pencil over here. Here you go, sir. Thanks. You ready? Uh, I will be in like two seconds. Fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm All right. ready to go. So the first thing we're going to roll for is the environment in which this layer has been created and or exists. Okay. Um, this is going to set the theme and the tone mm. for the dungeon. So give me a D12 roll, please. Got it. Um, I'm in charge of the dice today. Yes. Okay. D12 roll. What do you got? I got a five. You got a five. One, two, three, four, five. This Beholder dungeon is in the middle of a desert. Ooh, cool. I picture like a sandy, dooney desert, personally. This is how the Build a Dungeon episode started. Uh, Did you guys go in the desert? We were in the desert, yeah. Okay, man. Okay, Okay. we're in the desert again. So desert has one S because, and dessert has two because you always want seconds of dessert and not deserts. Got it. I've never heard that before. But Nailed okay. it. That's how my mom taught me to spell. So, oh, okay. Well, that's good, man. That's good. She did pretty a good, good job. At, pretty bro. good at spelling. Yeah, she did it. She killed it. Thanks, mom. Um, this next one's for we, you. So, it all led up to this, ma. <laughs> so, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll for the original structure's purpose. Okay. So, uh, this is a D10. Got it. Just the um, regular ass D10. And I believe we re roll 10. So, go ahead and roll a D10, and then we'll go from there. I cast Eldritch Blast. What do we got? Another fucking five? You love fives, bro. Okay, I don't. So one, two, <laughs> three, four. This dungeon was originally a planar gate. Oh, wow. So cool. This, this this dungeon, and maybe it's still active. Is it still? Well, we'll say it's still active. Maybe this boulder. This is an active planar gate. Is that, that this the structure? Guards, the structure yeah. is planar gate. It was a planar gate, yeah. So it could be any plane. That's up to us. Um, Should we attack that on now? Yeah, or? it's up to us. Where, where, where do you think this beholder has a has a mm. back door to? Uh, Maybe to a hive colony in like the abyss or something. I don't uh, know. I'm yeah, the, my there. my leader my leaders on this were the abyss, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the far realm, mm, which mm, I don't mm. know, like what a planar gate, and then yeah. like 
one maybe one of the four elements and i was thinking about rolling a d4 on it but let, maybe let's just go with the abyss that yeah. seems like the pertinent like and i like the idea of like well why most beholders wouldn't fuck with a planar gate because they don't want a back door into where they go but maybe this beholder belongs to a hive and much like how tiamat guards the gate between avernus and dis this beholder guards the gate between the material plane and their hive I, li- I like you this like a lot. All I right, like this cool. a lot. Abyssal so, planar gate. Is, and then put, in the put, desert. If you have room put in parentheses, a uh, hive colony. Or, hive. yeah, ne- next to the planar gate. <laughs> I have written everything. I had to write it above based on the way oh, the sheet okay. is. So, Sounds good. So hive colony, abyssal, planar gate. So next we're moving to Volo's Guide. So Volo's Guide has awesome minion tables. And the way this works is beholders in their layers tend to have lesser minions, greater minions, and then pets. We're going to roll for each of them. Okay. These are going to be D100s. First, let's roll for the lesser minions. Give me a D100 roll. Them hundies, though. Watch me get 55. <laughs> yeah. That would be amazing. Um, w- okay. Can you remind me how to... The, the the one with the two numbers is the tens, and the one with the single numbers is the uh, sing- is the ones. We got one T1. 11 T? 11 D. Yeah. So this dungeon has 10 D Den cultists and 4 D6 cult fanatics. Um, Phil, if you want. <laughs> Hang on a second, what? <laughs> okay, um, lesser minions. Lesser, say that again. Okay, these are the lesser minions. I'm, I'm going to do the math myself. So it has uh, 50 cultists, and it has, um, I could do math. I swear I could do math. Uh, 12 cult fanatics leading them. So, and this is just the lesser minions. We haven't even done the greater minions. Okay, I've got 50 cultists, and then I put 12 CF for cult fanatics. Great. So let's do a D100 roll for the greater minions. Okay. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm already really digging this entire scenario. This is how it felt during the <laughs> the build a dungeon episode. Yeah. We were just like immediately hype. Yeah, this is these awesome. tables rule. Yeah. Like we shit on tables sometimes, and <laughs> like when we do the dungeon cast yeah. normally, but like they're they're really good. What do we got? A 100. Um, 100. Oh, now 100 means we I roll twice. 10 it, and 0 is 100, right? Um, no, 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 no. That's 10. Oh, just regular 10? Oh, 10. okay. Got it. Okay, so there are there are five Etans as the the head haunt. Holy shit. That's the two-headed giant, The two-headed right? giants. We oh, have a bunch of two-headed like a, giants just rolling around? <laughs> There's. T- you said five of them? Five of them. We have five Etans five just rolling around this place. Etans. Okay, cool. That's ten heads worth of Etan. All right. Finally, the Beholder Pets. Give me another D100 roll. 100s. Man, if this die rolls 10 again, I'm going to shit. I'm just going to poop right here. What do you got? Uh, 95. That means that we roll twice. So it's this. we got two pets, two types of pets. Oh, cool. So roll again. We ignore anything 75 or below at this point. Or 76 or below. Or above. This is 62. What are we doing? 62. That means there are two ropers as pets. And then roll again because there's more pets. Two ropers. And then roll again. We got 81. Roll again because the real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 48. 48. We also have two Otiugs here. So we got some nasty oh, critters. Two Otiugs. That the cultists are feeding these Otiugs and these ropers. Oh, Otiugs are gross. Yeah, they are. They are. Ettens and Otiugs kind of make sense because aren't Ettens like super dirty they're nasty. nasty? Yeah, yeah, they're super dirty and nasty. So cool. yeah, there's some synergy here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, next we need to roll the number of rooms here. And so for, for sake of time... I, I already feel like this beholder's layer should be really big, but we don't have time for that. And so we'll just say that the planar the planar fortress that this thing's guarding, um, it just wasn't built that big. Yeah, and sure. So we're doing... Or maybe this is the layer within the layer. Sure. Yeah, maybe Maybe that. an outer, dun- outer maybe dungeon and an outer inner dungeon. dungeon. We're building the inner one. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. So um, for number of rooms, we're, you're doing 2d4 plus 2. 2D4. And that would be the number of rooms we do. Here I go. Six plus two, eight rooms. Eight, eight rooms. So he, so I think I you have a chart there for six. We'll have to we'll have to do the final eight when we get to them. Okay, finally, uh, well not finally. Next, we we have to describe what the entrance of this place looks like, and that's up to our brains. We have to make that up. There's no table for that. How do you think the beginning of this fortress looks like? Mm, fleshy. No. Oh, you know what? <laughs> actually, before there actually, there are some tables. There are some tables for this actually. 
um, because we're going to roll for the air and the odor of the entrance. And then let's talk about what it must look like. I was going to say, if there's some OTUGs in here on fucking Roomba uh, duty, you know, it's probably it fairly uh, clean. Oh, maybe, but OTUGs smell really bad. They smell bad. Yeah. Yeah. So first, let's roll a D100 for the noises we're hearing at the entrance. This is the most D100 I've ever done. Yeah, there's so many more ahead of us. 12. 12. So the entrance has, there is a chirping sound. I don't know where it's coming from, but there's a chirping sound. Should I like make a note somewhere? Yeah, somewhere in the entrance description area. It's a big big area. Go ahead and put chirping noise. Chirping. Um, We'll have to decide what that chirping might be later. Um, Let's talk about the air here. Roll me another D100. 36. 36. It's clear and damp. So a damp desert. It must be a rainy day. Oh, maybe it's cool. You go into the desert and then you go into this lair and like the environment is completely changed. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, clear, I like that. Clear Finally, and damp. give me uh, the odor of this entrance by rolling another D100. <laughs> Do not roll 96 or more. I'm asking you personally. Uh, I got 88. Okay. That was close. It's stale. The air here is stale, cold, and damp. Clear. Clear. Cold, what was that? Clear, Cold. damp, stale. It's interesting. So I'm actually picturing like a a black fortress. Um, not a for- fortress. It's like a black, low, flat structure that's really wide, maybe like shaped in a pentagon. Okay. And it's very obvious that like this structure is built downward. Ooh, that's how yeah. I'm picturing okay. it. Okay. Okay. On a so, slope. And it's made of some sort of strange black metal. And the air tastes like the glass of water you left at the side of your bed a week ago. Yeah, sure. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So and now something's chirping and it won't shut the fuck up. It's time for chamber by chamber. We're going to room number one. This is the entrance room. Okay. And we are going to roll on the size chart. As soon as I freaking pull up this chart, there's so many goddamn charts. How big is, is this room? the room? I don't know. Right. Roll a D10, please. Okay, you got it. Just a solo D10, huh? Yeah. Here we go. It's a five again. You love fives. This is a rectangular 20 by 40 foot room. Um, I'm ignoring the whole passage thing because we're doing linear. Give me so those footages again. Rectangular. 20 by 40 foot r- rectangular room. 20 by 40. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not too, not too um, big. Go ahead and... Oh, we are going to roll the purpose of this room. Nice. Got to bounce down to purposes. I'm going to start rolling a different D10 that doesn't yeah. shit out fives. So give me a D100 for the purpose of this room. Okay. Yeah. 21. 21. Um, Strangely enough, (laughs) this very front room was originally a bedroom for use by high-ranking members of the order that guards the portal. So we're starting off with... uh, (laughs) I don't know. Where do you want to sleep? (laughs) Right at the front, baby. As far away from the back of this shit as possible. I don't know. Should we re-roll? Because that doesn't make sense. It's up to yeah, us. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Right. Well, that, let's make it. Let's let's see how it goes. If we if it really doesn't make sense later. Well, like okay, so maybe it's not so much the high uh, officials. This is where like the elite guard rest. Maybe rest means like docking, like a gargoyle or whatever, too, up at the entrance, like in a cabinet. Like what? Is okay, rest yeah, mean? we could put the pets here on chains. You know, they rest in this fucking room. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. Well, okay. We'll still stick with that. Purpose bedroom question mark? <laughs> yeah, there we go. The current state of this room. So now I gotta find current state. And um, can you roll a d20 for me? Yes. To give me the chamber state here. Uh, wait, a d20? Yeah, sorry. I oh, should have told you we needed a d20. I didn't I know. Put, I put it away. It I didn't out. know, man. I'm sorry. I love these d20s. Um, Let's move okay. over here. Uh, here's a d20. Sorry, yeah. guys, for the dead air space. We're doing our best. 14. Here. 14. Yeah, I tried the to. State t- of this room. The furniture is wrecked, but still present. <laughs> that kind of that kind of leads like yeah it was a bedroom but now there's fucking gargoyles here or whatever we're putting ropers, ropers we'll find they... out we're not there yet we have to roll the contents of the room okay I'm I'm trying to open up another tab for state is disrepaired furniture oh my gosh. this is uh, disrepaired furniture yeah ah here we go dungeon chamber contents give me a d100 roll please okay fifty eight fifty eight there's a dungeon hazard here with incidental treasure. So, no, there are no pets here. So, originally, it was a strange bedroom. But, obviously, it was a bad idea because this place got taken over. They broke all the furniture and then they didn't want to hang out in it anymore. Yeah, so, um... (laughs) This place tastes like stale water in here. It does. Dungeon Hazard, give me a D20 roll, please. Okay. 
Two. Two. There's brown mold. <laughs> it's brown. There's brown mold. That's the hazard in this room. And the rope is shit on the wall. Oh, no, this place is horrible. So state is in disrepair. Yes. Contents was what? Brown mold. Brown, the contents is brown mold. With incidental treasure that I'm going to roll right now, or I'm going to have you roll right now. So <laughs> what yeah. could possibly be in this roper's poop on the wall? <laughs> Give me a D100 roll, please. Got it. Yeah. 46. Like four, for like the number forty six. Yeah, uh, you I sounded like you said four D six. I know. I've been like re- trying really hard not to make those jokes during okay. these rolls. There is a <laughs> incidental. This is incidental treasure uh, potion of healing underneath the brown mold. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to get through the hazard to get to it. If you can <laughs> Jurassic Park style, like stick your hand into this dookie, <laughs> <laughs> then you might find. <laughs> yeah, you a might find potion, a healing. potion of healing. Okay, so. Um, you know, we're gonna skip the air, noise, and odor if we if we feel like we don't need it. I feel like this room doesn't need it. It like, smells like good. shit. Yeah, <laughs> and broken furniture. Yeah, so we can and just, dreams. Yeah, <laughs> dreams. Okay, so moving on. Like, wow, uh, I really wanted to sleep in here. Nope. <laughs> we are going to roll the next passage. Give me a d20, please. Okay, I'm really glad I got that d20 out. Okay. Nineteen. Look at me go, baby. Oh, there's just another chamber here. I jumped the chasm. Oh, right. So I'm it goes playing. straight to the next chamber. There's no, there's no passage. There's just a doorway at the end of this rectangle, and it's the next chamber. These chambers are ass so, to ass right now. <laughs> so uh, room two, we need to roll rectangular twenty size. by forty again. We need, oh no, we need the size. Go ahead and give me a d twenty for the chamber size. Okay, we got ten. Kenton. Most average. Uh, another rectangle, 30 by 40 feet. Rectangles. Okay. 30 by so 40. So next we need the purpose. Slightly bigger. Which, okay. Give me a D100. So now we're moving. I got I got enough tabs open finally. <laughs> 79. 79. The purpose of this room originally was a library holding books about the portal's history. Library. Portal history. Portal history. Okay. The current state of the room. Um, give me a D20. 12. 12. The furniture is wrecked, but still present. <laughs> it's the exact same. It's I'm just writing one. bad furniture. Bad furniture. It's hilarious. Okay, the contents of this room. Give me... Please don't be shit again. A D- <laughs> D100, please. A D100. Got D-hundy. it. D100. I, how did, I rolled 79 again. <laughs> And I've been I've been messing with these. Yeah, I don't know, man. But, All right. Okay, there is a trick in this room, so I got to go to the tricks table. Like Chris Angel's in here. <laughs> he's fucking six Welcome inches off the sanctum. ground. He's standing on his own foot, and he's like, "How am I doing it?" Ah! <laughs> Give me a D a D twenty, please. A for D the twenty trick in this room. Oh wait, no, no, no. D one hundred. D one hundred. Ah, so, shit. My bad. Okay. Well, good. I burned trick. a th- I burned a three. For oh wait, wait, no, no, no. D twenty. D twenty. Okay, it's a three. <laughs> okay. It's a three. There's a burning fire in this room. What? <laughs> now give me a D100 for the fire's effect. Okay, hang on, everybody. This One. is a magical thing. 33. Um, oh, God. So this fire speaks, and it speaks in riddles. Chris Angel's on fire in this room. It's Chris Angel now. Burning Chris Angel. And it's C-R-I-S-S, I'm pretty sure is how you spell <laughs> yes, his name. Yes, it is. Um, angel, like, So, you know, this burning fire, or Chris Angel, whatever. Burning Chris Angel. Well, it's a, it is a fire, but inside the fire is a it's man. A, it is a magic mouth <laughs> that speaks in riddles. It's Chris, Burning Chris Angel, speaking in riddles. I got it. So, I think, like, okay, we need to add to this. <laughs> he's, of like, like, he's like, I have a riddle for you. How am I floating right now? It's magic. I can see the strings right there. It's fuck. You got it. You <laughs> got it. You can go by. He's got a fucking. He's got an. He's holding an eggplant. And I'll, <laughs> you, I'm I'm, this is a TikTok trend. He's holding an eggplant and he like in front of his face. <laughs> and he lets he he removes his hands and it's floating there. And then he turns and there's a fucking fork in his mouth. Mm-hmm. That's holding the eggplant. Yeah, plant sure, up. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. He speaks in riddles. So you have to answer a riddle. If you don't, you have to fight Chris Angel. You have to fight Chris Angel if Chris you can't okay. figure out no, no, how he's this, doing this his magic easy. trick. Chris Angel's one of the cult fanatics. Bam. <laughs> he's in there. He's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's got fire powers. Yeah, obviously. totally. And if levitating you, powers. Yeah, if you, but if you answer that riddle, they'll let you go by. Yeah, he has a fork in his mouth with an eggplant at the end of it. <coughs> do do or we like need a carrot? Do we need air, noise, or odor for this room? I don't think we do. Think it smells like a man on fire. On fire. Okay, cool. It smells like copper. All right, next. So uh, passage. We got to go to the, the next passage. Um, I know one of these tables is the right one. Noise, fire. Okay, here we air, go. Air, fire, odor, fire. I feel All like right. air and odor are like. Similar. Does air refer to like temperature? I don't know, man. We'll we'll see when we actually roll on the table. All right, passage. Uh, roll roll a d twenty, please. Okay. Woo. Fourteen. Fourteen. It's a uh, balanced The passage rolls. continues straight and then turns right and continues ten feet. Okay. Um, and then ends in the next chamber. Uh, is did you want to write that anywhere? You don't have to. It's it is recorded in audio format. I don't. True that's that. a lot of writing. For yeah. This no. No. Box. Fair enough. Fair okay. Enough. All right. So next chamber. Um, give me a D. How about I do? How about I do this? Um, oh, I forgot. We have a checklist up in the right hand corner. Hallway. Yeah, sure. Does that work? Okay. Checklist in the top right corner. Is there anything that we want to add so far? Uh, central gallery, escape tunnel, secret no. passages. Um, maybe this hallway could be a secret passage, which is like cause this was a library with Chris Angel in it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe there's a secret passage from this room to a room deeper. Yeah. Yeah, for, for beholders and cultists and stuff to go through. So go ahead and write that in the notes of room two. If there's room down there, put secret uh, passage to deeper room. It'll be one of the, you pull a book, the wall mm -hmm. rotates. Sure, that's that absolutely. Shit. Secret passage. Um, and go ahead and check that off the checklist in the top right corner. <clears throat> and I then, like that for a library. Secret passage. Oh, yeah, with, that with is perfect for the library. Riddle speaking Chris Angel inside of it. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, go ahead when you're ready. Room. Roll a d20 for the next chamber. Chamber three. Chamber three. Get ready to get randomized. Six. Um, this is a square room, 40 feet by 40 feet. So this is a pretty big room. 40, this is the biggest room so far in a way. It's like the most spacious. 40 by 40 square. Yeah. The purpose of this room, I need you to roll a d100. Okay. Yeah. 77. We're Seven, out of 70s. Yeah, we're, we're a 70s podcast. 77. <coughs> is, this was a laboratory for conducting experiments relating to the portal and creatures that emerge from it. So laboratory is the purpose. Okay. That's, I fucking love it. Laboratory. It's where the, there was a bedroom up front, but I'm loving everything after that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a stupid bedroom at the beginning of it. Like, who builds their fucking house like that? I know, seriously. Anyway. So um, we're going to do we're gonna do contents next. Sorry yeah. if you live in a house where your bedroom You're is the so first right. room that you walk into. That no, seems no, not optimal, but, you know. But you live your life how you want. Well, maybe it's a studio apartment. D100, Brian. Okay. I think studios are great. Actually, no, I, I, we're supposed to do the current state, so hold on. Save oh. that roll because that might still apply. Okay. What's the state of the room? No, no. Roll me a D20, but save that roll because I want to keep it. Okay. So uh, the state of the room. Okay, I got to re-roll that D20. Uh, 19 again. Stripped bare. Oh, no. All the laboratory stuff's gone. Oh no! It's maybe maybe there's just uh, telltale signs of laboratory stuff on the wall. Chris Angel does not like science. Okay, so Only that's the magic. state. It's been stripped bare. Now, what was your contents roll? Uh, a sixty-eight. 68. Damn it! Eight. One away. A trap. Where are all these cultists hiding? We still haven't got it. Well, we got in Chris secret, Angel in the secret room. Okay. Well, okay. So we got a trap here. Okay. So I got to go to the traps table. What trap is in this room? Traps. Give me a D6. Ah, oh, you didn't say to have those out. Okay. Sorry. It's my bad. D6. There's, there's so many tables, Brian. Three. Three. Um, there is a statue in this room, and if you touch it, it sets off the trap. So what's the statue of? The statue of trap. Uh, oh, wouldn't it be a cool, like, like an eyeball on a on a, da a dais, 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 Okay, dais. yeah, an, an, uh, an uh, uh, eye statue. Maybe it's actually a floating eye statue. Ooh. So it's floating in the center of this bare room. Um, can you be a floating <coughs> statue? I mean, yeah, with you can. magic, you of can. Of course you this can. Is a fucking dragon. Fuck, of course you can. All right, so what floating eye statue. Give me another D6 roll for the damage severity of this trap. Another D6, you said? Yes, please. Okay. Five. Uh, this is a dangerous trap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> floating they're eyes. they're setback dangerous and deadly and depending on your level like it's gonna have certain you know um oh man i hope someone listening to this actually runs this dungeon i would be so pleased i want to run this dungeon i maybe, wrote floating dude, eye danger maybe we can find time to run this dungeon for for the patreon 
maybe we can yeah. find time to run yeah. this dungeon. Yeah, it can't be more than a one or two shot. And you know what kind of beholders are going to be in here? Yeah. Fucking the ones we built this year, dog. Oh, my God. It has to be. It has yeah, to be sure, that, absolutely. Right? It okay. has to be. I need a D100 for the effect of the trap. So we know it's a dangerous damage. <laughs> we know what it looks like, but what, what happens when you touch this thing? It's a floating stone eye. Yeah. Uh, it's 21. 21. Lucky, lucky. Pay me time and a half for my blackjack just now. Okay, so this is a weird one, man. This eye statue is coated in an invisible poison. When you touch it, you get poisoned, and it does dangerous damage. <laughs> this is a fucked up... We walked into a fucked up place. We're building a fucked up place, man. It's meant for you to want to touch it. Look at this yeah, cool-ass yeah, yeah. floating eye statue. Why don't you touch it? Fuck, I think I just got hand poisoned. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Don't so. lick the floating eye. <clears throat> that's what they say in Indiana Jones. Yes, that's, that's exactly what they say. Yeah. Um, so next we are doing... Next we are taking a short rest. Okay. We've returned. Indeed we have. Check out our P.O. box address in the notes below. You can send us stuff. And if you do, we'll shout you out read on the show. Don't know what to send us? We have an Amazon wish list, which is also linked below. We'll display the things you buy for us on our, our YouTube background, or we'll use them in production process. Also find us on uh, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at the Dungeon Cast. And find <clears throat> me, Brian, on Instagram, B and D and D underscore B and B and D. It's nice. a mirror effect where the underscore happens. For sure. So. Let's continue to build our beholder dungeon. We're <laughs> getting a little it. short on time. We're going to cut this. Uh, we're going to cut this from eight rooms to six. We're just going to keep it six. Yeah. We we're going to move as quickly planned. as we can. We'll add two rooms when we run it on our Patreon. Check out the dungeon uh, Patreon.com/slash the Dungeon Cast. You can watch these episodes early for free with no ads. Um. <clears throat> so now we're in the passage between room two and room three, right? Did I say for free? That's not how Patreon works. No. You can watch these episodes early for a subscription yeah. at the $5 level. And ad-free. And right. ad-free is yeah. what I meant to say. Yeah. Okay. Now roll me a d20. We got to move. Yep. Woo. What do we got? Five. Five. Well, so many five. fives. Uh, just a straight a straight hallway. Okay, straight hallway. Yeah. And again, straight hall. Uh, eventually, I'm hoping this place goes downward, but I mean, it might not happen. Um, I mean, straight hallways can have a downward slope, right? Mm -hmm. Or is that something on the table? Yeah, sure. The, let's say every hallway has a downward slope. Okay, and that'll just be it's a blanket. Straight-ish in that it's slowly spiraling down. Totally, okay. I like that a lot. Um, <clears throat> and chamber. So we need uh, the next chamber. Can you roll me a d twenty? D twenty. Here we come. One. A crit failed, my dude. A small square, twenty by twenty feet. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll see you guys later. I gotta die now. The, the purpose of this room. Give me a d one hundred, please. D100 is going to be 69. We did it. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Yeah, we did do it. This, this is a sex room. No, it's a kitchen. Oh. <laughs> it was a kitchen. Okay. Now it's a sex room. <laughs> now, well, we'll see. Kitchen uh, slash sex room. <laughs> um, the state of the... F How did I lose this tab? How did I lose this tab, Brian? Where is the state of the goddamn room tab? the contents tab which is good oh chamber state here we go give me a d20 all right nine nine used as a campsite now <laughs> kitchen slash sex room slash campsite so it was a kitchen it's been repurposed as a campsite a small one Probably I bet it's for like the cultist. The ears are where the cultist is. It's an old kitchen they cook in, and they do like kumbaya shit about their beholder god. Yeah, exactly. Except for, are they here now? Let's find out by rolling on the contents table. Give me a d100. Okay. Uh, 76. Dude, you keep rolling in the same table. Reroll. Yeah. Reroll now. Uh, I think maybe this one might be loaded to seven. Okay, six. Okay, there's a monster. There, there is a greater monster. There's an Etten in here. Okay, got it. There's an Etten in here now. Etten. Um, fuck it, let's put two Ettens in here. Times two. They're really cramped. It's a small room. There's <laughs> just two Ettens in here trying to fuck or cook dinner. Nobody knows. They can't do either. It's impossible to tell. They're just, they're so mad when you come in here. Yeah, they couldn't absolutely. do any of the things this room was meant for. Absolutely. All the cultists um, had to vacate for, so these two ends <laughs> could get in here and bone down. Um, for sure. So there's, there's, <laughs> there's exactly it. You just said it. Like, I got it. That's it. it. You got it. Put, it. put it in the notes, please. It's there. Okay. Dude, it's there. <laughs> Etten's, well actually, Etten's times two be fucking. This is the Etten fuck room. 
<laughs> this is a stupid dungeon. <laughs> This is not at all like the like the dungeon making episode me and your special guest Jake made. There were, I don't think there were zero fucking in that one. There were like mind flayers and a meteorite in that one. This one is just gross. Okay. People licking so, poison um, eyes, tripping out and going to the kitchen to fuck. Um, we and gotta camp out apparently. They're trying to We gotta to do the passage, bro. Oh yeah. Um Is that a one hundred? D twenty, D twenty. D twenty. My goodness. We're Six. Not, all right, we, we haven't been doing the width, but the width, okay, that actually can be covered in the Beholder stuff. Uh, I was reading that Beholder layers, their passages are always exactly wide enough for the Beholder to barely fit. Because okay. they don't want anything larger than themselves to be able to get in. So what are they, large? They're large, yeah. yeah. So we're talking like eight and a half feet wide mm. passages the whole way through. So it can't like outstretch its outer eye stalks like you know, yeah. full yeah, extend. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you rolled a six. Yes. This is a, just another straight, another straight hallway. I don't know why we're even rolling passages again at this point. I just keep hoping we get stairs. This is a and it's not happening. Fucking, I'm riding stairs and it's down. Okay, stairs going stairs down. Downward. All right, cool, 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 cool. Next chamber, give me a size roll. We are talking a d20 again. A d20. Um, at my last game of D and D, they were size rolls at the table. Two. Bro, you love squares and rectangles. That's all you're rolling. It is a twenty. It's another small, another small room. Twenty by this. twenty. I don't know how these hands get around, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're coated in this nasty poison that helps them sl slip and slide. Okay, so uh, it's a twenty by twenty foot chamber. Uh huh. Uh, let's talk about its original purpose. It's small, Ed. Give me that D one hundred. Okay. Fuck, I'm crying, dude. I'm fucking crying. 89. 89. Now this die is rolling nine. <laughs> Originally, they used to use this room for storage. Oh, oh man. Wrong. Um, the yeah. current state of the room, though, is probably something a little different. Um, oh, how did I... Oh, give me a d20, please, for the current state. Okay. <clears throat> Eight. Eight. This <laughs> it's used as a campsite as well. So maybe, that maybe makes sense. Uh, they're kind of small, like you only fit so many as campsites. Upstairs camping and downstairs camping. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The upstairs campsite is for the nastier stuff. This one's for actual, <laughs> well, let's see what it's for. Give me a D100 for what, what the hell's in this campsite room? Contents. Two campsite rooms in a row. Uh, 43. 43. Monster. Um, give me a D4 roll, because it's random monster, and there is a treasure in this room. Four. Four, okay, that's a re-roll. Give me another. Oh. <laughs> One. One. That's a, more end. There's <laughs> 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 ends trying to fucking hear, too. No. <laughs> There's one end in this room, and he's eating. He's masturbating. And he's got he's got uh, a treasure item on him, which we're going to oh, okay. roll. We're going to roll the treasure item on him as soon as I pull that table up. God damn it. Where the fuck is it? There's Eddin's. Upstairs, you walk downstairs, and this when you walk into this room, this sentence like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything. So give me, give me a D one hundred. I swear to God, Brian, give me a D one hundred. This, this, this sentence has a treasure on it. Ninety five. Oh shit, that's really high. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, he has that's a ring of swimming. <laughs> five away from the max, dude. He has a ring of swimming. <laughs> <laughs> he's not using it, but he's yeah, got it. he's certainly not. He has so it for show. He's like, yeah, him. swimming and all that you ass. Get the <laughs> That's where God bright. That's why um, he's alone. <laughs> next passage. Let's just do stairs again. I want to get real deep. <laughs> Ring of swimming. <clears throat> uh, why don't we make it like a um, like a fun little slide? I mean, these Entons are already, like, maybe the Entons are forced to live in these rooms that can't get out. <laughs> They were born here. Yeah, they were raised here. Now they can't escape. Um, <coughs> so yeah, stairs to the next room. Let's do room four. We gotta move along. Uh, you mean room six? Room? No, we're not room. It's not room six yet. What are you talking about? I'm on room six. Dude. Are we on room six already? Yeah. All right. Well, we're doing the full eight then. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Let's so fucking room go. Six. Do you? Um, what'd you say? We we gotta do size. And I swear to God, if you roll, an, uh, I'm overwriting another fucking square. Okay. Um. Why roll a die? Just tell me what room. No, you want. no, I want you because there's more than squares. There's lots of shapes, Brian. There are lots of shapes. I've got several shapes. It in could front be a of triangular me. room. I'm, I'm desperately trying to find. Okay, chamber. Go ahead and give me a d20 roll. Dude, take a heat drink. Go. 
I, I think this is actually a cosahedron. I'm re-rolling that because it's another six. That's another five. I'm re-rolling that too. 14? I've seen all these numbers. 10. It's a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the die. I'm rolling it. Okay. Give me goddamn die. Four. Thirteen. Oh my god, that's also a rectangle. So it's what do you a, want? It's They're all rectangles. See, like we can do another it's shape. A, it's a what circle. shape do you want? It's a circle. It's a, it's a circle. Okay, damn it's it. A circle. Circular it is room. a fifty-foot diameter circle. It's huge. Fifty foot. Tempted to fill it with water because of the stupid ring of swimming at me. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, original purpose. Give me D one hundred, please. Or maybe something <coughs> water-based. Could be. <laughs> Seven. Seven. That's right. You heard me. <laughs> this was an armory used by the portal's Ooh. guardians. Circular armory. <coughs> <clears throat> Imagine it was also a training room since it's so big. Um, let us roll on the contents table, which I am looking for. Okay. Contents. Give me a D100, please. Yeah. 45. 45. Monster with random treasure. You know what? Fuck it. Roll it again. Okay. I'm going to roll it again. Uh, 81. 81. <laughs> I, I, I hate 81. We're going back to the last roll. <laughs> A monster roll with again. random treasure. Okay. Um, let's put some of the pets here. Um, what did we have? We had ropers and what? Otiugs. Otiugs. So th this, is, oh, this is a trash room. This is, a, this oh, is a the trash armory room. of trash? Yeah, this is the trash room. It was an armory, now it's a trash oh, room. Oh, okay, a trash so room. So you have Otiugs just like mowing about this huge circular gated area. Cool. And this is where the cultists throw the trash and the Ettons throw the refuse. Oh, and it just stinks like god awful yeah. nothingness. So the Ettons are the front guards. These Otiugs are another obstacle. Uh, there is enough refuse thrown in here that some accidental treasures got lost in the muck. So go ahead and give me. We're going. We're going to. I'm just going down the table. So we're, now we're going to roll a magic table. C. Go ahead and give me D100. Okay. Yeah. Sixty-seven. Hidden. Hidden among amongst this muck. You love the '60s, by the way. Is a potion of mind reading. Ooh. <clears throat> um. And you know what? I think this is an appropriate room to get the the air and odor of. Give me a D100 for the air in here. Uh, 90. 90. Right? Because <clears throat> 90 and 0 would be 90. <clears throat> it's smoky and steamy in here. Ooh. <laughs> so maybe it is coated in water. It's nasty in here. All these rooms are sexual. <clears throat> Give me an odor for this place. Uh, D100. S smoky and steamy. Oh, please don't roll an 86. Because this is... 93. Oh, man. So close. It's sulfurous smelling in here. Steamy. So maybe the floor has like a like a hot a hot acidic liquid that is also melting down the nasty refuse in here. Oh God. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a couple OTX you have to fight in here, and it's real fucking nasty. Uh, room seven. <clears throat> oh, by the way, okay, let's go back to this checklist. We haven't really been paying attention. What oh we yeah, got? we need an escape tunnel, uh, <clears throat> a central gallery, a um, prison. Oh. Gosh. And a sanctum. Maybe the um, maybe room five can be the prison with the ring of swimming Eton in it. Yeah, there's like a prison at the center. Yeah, he's trapped in there yeah. alone. It's yeah. just a prison of like it's it's like a prison, quote unquote, like of his what? own. Okay, these two Ettons upstairs was boning, had an Etten baby. Etten baby was still small enough to walk down these stairs, got too big to move out of the room. It's a prison. Um well no, this room's really big. <laughs> Well, well, we're no, talking this, about the room OTO five room. is twenty by twenty. The, mm -hmm. the OTO room is fifty foot diameter. Well, so no, okay. this one can have a prison. In. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At the center, the OTO is like okay, spiral yeah. around. Prison. And at the center is a, a jailed cage OTO where pri prisons are prisoners are kept. Got it. And maybe that's where the vial of mind reading is because a dead body. Left and it there. smells like total shit in here. Yeah, absolutely. Sulfur, bad. We're spiraling down. I'm skipping passages because at this point we know we're just going down. Okay. Um, and. Next up is chamber chamber number seven, which we will make into the the gallery. Good, okay. The gallery of Let's all the items this beholder has claimed. Um, so there's gonna be big big loot in this room. But let's roll the the size. Um, go ahead and give me. It's gonna be a, give me a d twenty plus seven. Sixteen. 
16. This is another circular room, 30 feet in diameter. <clears throat> and its original purpose was, roll a d100, please. Uh, 29. 29. Uh, it was a chapel dedicated to a deity or deities related to the portal and its defenders. The mother. Yeah. The mother. So this what is the fuck like, was it? Uh, the Great Mother. The Great Mother. Yeah, the Great Mother. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is great. So maybe we'll, we'll skip the, the state of the room because this is going to be a chapel dedicated to the Great Mother that has all of this beholder's, like, prized possessions as, like, uh, held up to her altar, if you will. Yeah, check out last episode was about the beholder deity, Great Mother, <clears throat> who lives in the sixth layer of the abyss. Yes. Give me a D100 for the contents. Maybe there's monsters guarding shit here. I don't know where the fuck Ooh. we're keeping these 50 cultists. 54. 54. Um, They're all in the church. Uh, th Give me another roll, bro. Like, you you don't seem to land on any monsters except for Edens. <laughs> uh, one? Oh, okay, yeah, we got monsters. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll say the, we have cultists guarding here. How many does it matter? However many you want. It's your dungeon. Uh, um, let's, we we've have got cultists. 50 to spread out, so let's... We'll say we like have 20 in here? 10 on guard in here. 10. Yeah. Um, and now let's roll on this delicious loot, because it's going to be, like, yeah, 20, big treasure. 20 cultists is pretty unmanageable for a combat. Yeah, huh? absolutely. You absolutely. have to have them attacking groups, and nobody seems to like that. So give me four rolls on table F. So give me four D100s. Okay. 21, again. 21, there's a sentinel shield in here. 40. There is a hat of disguise in here, all on display. <clears throat> 70. There is <clears throat> a bag of tricks. 46. Um, and there is a, oh gosh, I fucking lost it. Oh no, here it is. Um, <clears throat> a rod of the Pact Keeper in here. So Sentinel Shield, <clears throat> Bag of Tricks, Hat of Disguise, <clears throat> Rod of the Pact Keeper. All magic items that hopefully your party can use if you can take out these 10 cultists and their fanatic leaders. Rod of what? Of the Pact Keeper. Of Pact Keeper. And then what was the third? I got Sentinel Shield, Bag of Tricks, Rod of Pact Keeper. Hat of Disguise. Hat of Disguise. Oh, I love Hat of Disguise. Yeah. So these are his prized possessions in his gallery. Um, if now you want to see me <clears throat> use a Cyber Hat of Disguise, check out Super Quest Saga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's I'm true. also pretending to be somebody else pretty much the whole time. True that. Um, finally, we're going to the final room. This is going to be the antechamber where the Beholder itself rests. So the Beholder is in here, along with probably minions and stuff. So first, let us roll the size of this room as soon as I find that table. Oh, let's make this circular room, um, oh, the circular chapel, have like a gang of escape tunnels. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Just like a grip yes, of them. Absolutely. To like All to the other... surface, going to other sandy dunes in this desert. Oh, they're just like fucking... Yeah, like, these are bail rooms. Like fairly odd parent style, like escape room to Texas. I have no idea what you're referring to. I've seen oh, Fairly Odd Parents, but that doesn't ring a bell. Later on in the show, uh -huh. they start doing a running bit where Timmy starts wishing for escape pods to, uh -huh. like, wherever. Uh -huh. And they, for some reason, they go to Texas. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. sure. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so, for this one, we're doing... I, automatically, I, I think we should do a crit roll in this chamber size. I want a trapezoid, roughly 40 by 60 feet. Just okay. the biggest room we can roll on this, on this bad boy. This is where... Um, the beholder layers up, and this is going to be. Go ahead and give me a d100 roll for the purpose of this room. Uh, 37. 37. <sighs> so, this was originally a classroom to use for initiates learning about the portal secrets. So I'm picturing almost like a cathedral with pews. Yeah, like yeah. A, like a lecture room, like a lecture yeah, hall. Yeah, exactly. Except for like, uh, and maybe all the cultists, the other 40, they're in here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not all. So let's say we have 15 cultists here all doing like worship before their beholder god. Okay. Right? Um, <clears throat> along with some pets, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, maybe we should use some of those cultists to put in the first room and second room. And they're just in there. Their job is to break furniture. No. 
Well, we'll say other cultists are out like pillaging and stuff. They're not all here oh, all the time. They can't all be here. Yeah. They have to be out doing. We can't make our party fight fifty cultists. That'd be ridiculous. I mean, you could over. You could. You could, you but could. let's not. Um, so we'll put we'll put uh, we'll put the cult leaders in here. So we'll put five cult fanatics in here, um, along with other things. Hold on. Um, the ropers. The two ropers are in here, hanging from the ceiling. They're guards. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're they're hanging right above the entryway. Yeah, so we have five cult fanatics, two ropers, and the beholder itself. If they put a tentacle on you and they don't recognize you from the feel, like Braille style, then like you're getting eaten. Give me, bit. give me a D100 roll for the contents. Um, we've already decided on the monsters, so I need anything not a 50 um, or above rerolled. I got 49. <laughs> give me a reroll, please. Okay. Uh, 68. 68. Damn, rolled 67, 68, and 69. So there is a trap in this room. Somewhere. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna figure that out in a second here. Give me a... It's gotta be a floor plate. Something Give me that, a some, D6. Okay, something the, something the beholder can't trigger. Yeah, sure. Uh, two. Two. No, moving through the doorway to enter here mm -hmm. without the proper, like, cult insignia that the bowler gives you, which is like an eyeball and blazes on your chest or whatever. Yes, and the roper has to physically touch it to see it. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. But uh, but the, it'll it'll trigger the trap. So it's stepping through the, the, the doorway. Uh, give me a d6 for the severity. Uh, six. Oh, deadly. This is a deadly trap. Nice. Give me a d100 for what the trap is. Okay. 54. A dart shoots out of the wall at the per so this is this is a deadly dart. Let's put it out of the floor. Out of the floor? <laughs> no, because it might hit you in the crotch. That's horrible. Uh -huh. No, okay. no. <laughs> okay, well, well, say, like it's a huge trapezoid room. So like if you're walking through here, it comes mm -hmm. out of like what the like the little entry hallway. Um, the ceiling. The ceiling the at an angle, so it shoots you in the butt cheek. Well, I was thinking from the front, so oh, you, get, you hit darts to the chest, or a halfling, yeah. it'll shoot you in the So back. you get shot, and it's it's the deadliest poison. It does deadly damage, and you're poisoned. It's and concentrated, that's just to start the fight. It's concentrated eyeball statue poison. Yeah, there you go. Sure. Deadly uh, dart trap. Um, let's do the air, noise, and odor of this room. Okay. That's going to finish it off. Yeah, this is this is it. So it smells like eyeballs in here. The and forty dudes. Give me a D one hundred for the noises going on in this room. G gender neutral dudes. You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Just people. It's people is what I mean. Uh, I rolled another forty six, so I'm gonna roll it. Reroll that. Uh, Fifty eight. Fifty eight. Murmuring. The murmuring of the beholder and the cultists echoes through this chamber. The air in this room, give me a D100, please. Everybody's murmuring like, what the fuck is that chirping noise in the first room? What do you think it is? Is it one of those little <laughs> chips that you, have you seen those? It's a, it's like a paper thin chip that you, you put under a surface that makes uh -huh. like a chirping sound. Mm -hmm. And like, you're, it's supposed to be hidden and it just intermittently goes off every few minutes. Oh, it's super one of those. It's, yeah. <laughs> so it's just a, an annoying machine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. give me a D100 for the air, please. Okay. We're almost done here. Uh, 88. 88. Um, it is clear and warm in here. Nice. And lastly, what is the smell? Give me a D100. Uh, 81. Did you roll two 80 runs in a row? I, I just rolled 80 something. 88. Uh, let me just re-roll the 80. Let me fucking... 71. 71. Oh, there's a smell of rotting vegetation in here. Mm. It's weird. I don't even know where that comes from. Well, everybody eats salad a lot and they don't brush their teeth. That's disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. Um, maybe the beholder is the source of it. Maybe he smells like rotting vegetation. That's just part of his weird beholder trick. Hey everybody, welcome to the long rest. Uh, Will had to go to work and I forgot to record this, so I'm doing it late at night while my family is asleep in the other room. So sorry for talking quietly. Uh, also sorry for the audio on the last half of that episode. It's our backup camera audio because something really weird happened in my software. Um, it's kind of tough to explain, but I think I smoothed that out. Um, anyway, thanks for listening to the show or watching the show, whichever you guys do. Um, really, really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to tell your friends about the show. It helps a lot. Uh, 
on that note, we hit a big milestone. We reached a thousand iTunes reviews. That's huge. And it's all thanks to you guys. So a group of you came out to answer the call to action and you push us over the threshold. Uh, this audience is so amazing. I love you guys. You, you really are very awesome. Uh, other great ways to support the show would be joining Patreon, where you can get early ad-free episodes as well as a ton of bonus content. Uh, that includes actual play stuff. And uh, you also get exclusive merch items, which will be updated with new art for the new year, if we haven't done so already. i got to check with Will about that. Uh, you could also check our social media. Uh, we got Twitter, we got Instagram, we got TikTok. Uh, we were doing some experiments on TikTok. That's over. It's time to hit the pavement, baby. We're going to do it big. Um, yeah, more on the way. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at bndnd underscore bndnd. And uh, last but not least, check the show notes below for our P.O. box. Send us a postcard because we would love that or anything or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Calling it a game. I forgot. almost forgot to say that. That's like the, the main sign-off. Yeah, calling it a game. Bye. Bye. <laughs>